Right, what I'm going to do is asparagus is in season now and it doesn't last very long. So I'm going to show you how to prepare some asparagus and poach an egg. A lot of people have been asking me how to poach eggs, how to do scrambled eggs. So today I'm going to show you how to do a poached egg my way. I'm not going to do it a restaurant way, I'm going to do it just so you can see the lovely egg. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you, when they start getting a bit tough, this is how you'd peel it. You turn um, a bread tin upside down and you literally just go like that. It's so simple. But I'm just going to finish this one. There we are. No. I'm actually not going to I'm not going to do any more because they're fresh, they're young, but I will prepare I will put that into the water. So we're going to start off by putting the asparagus into some simmering water. And you can leave the tips off. You don't need to do the tips. Now for the egg you must have it under simmering. So you don't have it rolling, boiling. Not the way to do it. So we take your egg, do it like that. Now, the trick is, when it starts just to go together, can you see now the way you can tell an egg is fresh is the way it holds together the album around. You can see this is about three days old. So it's not doing four days old, it's not doing too bad. You can see this, it's quite glutinous around the actual yolk itself. So once it's done, once it's got the base in the middle, all you do is just once, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. It's better to do it slowly and very carefully, just go like that. You don't need to do any more. That's it finished. Right now that's done so you just take it off the base so it doesn't stick to the base so you can see it's coming. Right you take a spoon, the barricus is coming up so it doesn't need much now and you just literally go like that. Now we just wait for this to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve it with this tomato sauce that I have made and it's going to be going on Instagram tomorrow so I've made it for some gnocchi so I'm going to put it with the egg and the asparagus so you'll see that being done it's so easy so simple makes the most beautiful brunch it really does for Sunday so we're going to just leave it just leave it now you can see look having taken it off earlier it won't stick to the bottom it doesn't stick look moves so that's when you do it once that's how you do it because it won't stick to the bottom now you're just going to do that so I in this case if you're doing a restaurant style one you do a deeper pan of water about that deep fine three quarters full and you'd stir it going into a vortex so it works around it but when you're doing this I actually like to see the yolk rather than having it all because I love the yellow having it all hidden there we go make sure we've got it covered right there we are just patience now the asparagus is nearly done it needs just a couple of minutes that's all only needs a couple of minutes this is done so I'm now going to just make sure push this in a little bit There we go. Perfect. Done. So I'm going to take this out and put it in it through a sieve. Okay. Right. I'm going to turn this off because this is completely done. Now, if you want to make it a little bit prettier, you can just go around. Just take that bit off. Just that's the bit that's not exactly beautiful little cut off right okay so I'm going to put this on a plate before I do that I'm going to just take it into here it comes onto the the actual thing easily now what you don't want to do is you do not want to put it um, straight on because there's a lot of water that will come out so you just sort of leave it there for a second now I'm just going to put this onto my plate how delicious is this gosh 
oh, to have a plate full of gorgeousness like that. I'm now going to put poached egg so it's sitting on it's going to be careful how I'm doing it because I do want it to look pretty yeah right I'm now going to take a little bit of uh, nice quite a lot of this actually because you know this is sort of delicious so I want to really now the other thing is now just going to do that move that up and I'll paper that bit <laughs> now I'm going to put a tiny bit squeeze of lemon I'm going to just make that look a bit prettier just because I don't want to add butter because I'm being good this is a healthy meal okay bit of pepper now bit of pepper right I'm now going to just take one of my lovely cloths now, I'm now going to just, I've got that over there. Okay, now let's just take this. Can we get in there? Oh, how delicious is that? Yummy. That, to me, is utterly gorgeous.